My name is Paul Maxwell and I'm a consultant physician at the North Middlesex University Hospital. Delay giving an antibiotic to a patient with sepsis increases the risk of death. Once hypotension has developed, then the risk of death increases by 8% for each hour's delay. Today, I'm going to show you how to prepare and give a patient an intravenous bolus dose of an antibiotic so any delay can be avoided. Note that some antibiotics, such as vancomycin, have to be given by infusion and not as a bolus dose. Check if you don't know. Please also remember that any microbiology specimens, such as blood cultures, swabs and the like, should be taken before you give the antibiotic. Antibiotics for injection are available as either a dry powder for reconstitution or as a ready-prepared solution. This short video will concentrate on using an antibiotic that comes as a dry powder. Let's deal with preparation first. Make sure that you've identified the patient and the drug prescription chart and that they match. Check for allergies, both on the wristband on the patient and in the allergy box on the prescription chart. Make sure that you have a clean work surface and wipe it with a sterilising wipe. Make sure you've got all the syringes you're going to need and a drawing up needle. In the box that the antibiotic comes in will be a piece of paper that tells you what to dissolve it in. It's usually saline or water. If the paper's not there, then you have to look it up on the website www.medicines.org.uk where you'll find instructions. Wash your hands, wear gloves, put on an apron. Check expiry dates, damage to any containers, vials or ampules, and check that the medicines were stored correctly, such as in a refrigerator. Remove the cap from the vial and swab the rubber bung with a sterilising wipe. Draw up the required volume of fluid for reconstitution. Remove any air bubbles by gently tapping the syringe barrel. And then inject the right volume of fluid into the vial. Shake the vial gently to mix and check that all the powder has dissolved. Then draw up any air into the syringe that you need in order to make sure that it's equal in total volume to that that you're going to be withdrawing from the vial. And inject the air into the vial and withdraw the required volume. You can now remove the used needle and throw it into the sharps bin. If necessary, replace it with a new one. Remove any air bubbles by gently tapping the syringe barrel and check that you have the correct volume in the syringe. Put the injection, with the needle if, if it's there, into a kidney dish for administration to the patient. OK, let's talk about giving the drug. Check the intravenous line and clean the injection port with a sterilising swab. Flush the cannula with 5 mils of normal saline to ensure that it's patent. And now is the time to check both the ampule of antibiotic and the diluent that you used with a second person. When you're happy, slowly inject the antibiotic, watching the patient for any adverse signs. Also, watch the cannula to see if the injection leaks into the surrounding tissues. If it does, stop. OK, Mr Morris. Talk to the patient as you give the drug. Just giving the antibiotic now. Discard the needle and syringe in the sharps bin and flush the line again with five mils of saline. That's it. Remember to prescribe and sign for the drug on the drug chart. Good practice would also be to write it in the notes. Put the time the drug was given in these entries as well. And that's it. Very simple for a life-saving procedure. Mm -hmm.